hey guys so i'm back with another video and in today's video i will be teaching you on how to make a kkh style head so basically i'm going to teach you how to make a head using a reference from kkh so for this video you're going to need a screenshot of your avatar or any avatar from the kkh game metabang or any editing system you use so let's get started So guys, we're going to start off by picking the colors that we will be using. So you really want to make sure you have your outline color, your base, and your shading 2 and shading 1 color, which is a lighter transitional color of shading 2. So now we will be creating the outline of the face by creating a circle using the shape tool for the top half of the Avi's face or you could say avatar's face and then I will usually trace the bottom half of the face or the entire face. You can either do the first method I said or you can just trace the entire face just using the um, curve tool um, which is usually around the top of the screen if you're on PC. I think it's also on top of the screen if you're on Android or iOS, so it should be easy to find. You can either trace the reference or try this method. Just do anything you're comfortable with. I usually use the shape tool because I try to get my outline as clean and crisp as possible, but I did notice a little mess up in my line work in this avatar slash avi, but in the end it came out good so it didn't really matter. I can just say my messed up lines added potential and uniqueness. So for shading, you are going to do normal shading around the face and around the nose and the eyes. You can trace the shading of the reference. That's definitely a good way to learn how to shade Avi's head. So I usually start off with um, shading two and then open another layer on top and clean the edge of shading two with shading one. So 
So in this clip, I just did the outline of the eyes. I will show you guys later on the video how I finish them. I don't always do the eyes first. I usually wait till I am done with the contour to start on them because I like to see if it will look better. And just in case I mess up, I don't have to completely start over the eyes. And I just like um, completely finishing the eyes after contour. It's just how I prefer to do my eyes. You can do yours differently. I don't know. I just feel so like weird starting my eyes and completely finishing them before contour it just like I don't know I feel like the eyes make or break the face so I would like to see what it looks with contour instead of after I don't know it's just the way I do things you don't have to do it this way you can finish the eyes before you do contour just do whatever you're comfortable with I kinda like living in hell with you heaven's a lie you know I would always choose your darkest side So, for contour, I don't really use Metabank to begin my contour because I don't really like the airbrush tool. And this is the brush that I usually use to create contour. Um, I, much, I much prefer Ibis Paint X airbrush tool because I am more used to it, especially since I use it for IMVU edits. You don't have to download Ibis Paint X to do contour. You can try contouring with any art slash painting program you use. But I do recommend you use an airbrush tool to do your contour. Contour is better when it is done with the airbrush. Airbrush gives you more lighter strokes and you're able to blend it into the skin a lot more. So if you are going to learn how to do contour, I recommend using an airbrush tool. I believe every art slash painting program has an airbrush tool. So guys, don't worry. And if you don't like using the airbrush tool, you can find any brush that you like doing your contour with honestly like I said do whatever you're comfortable with I feel like you'll probably get better results if you do what you're comfortable with and also I am trying to get better at using Metabang the contour I don't know why I'm not used to Metabang's airbrush tool I just think it comes out a lot harsher than um Ibis and I'm more used to it I don't know why it's an issue that I have, but I do use Metabang's airbrush tool for like cleaning up my contour. So like, I'm not saying that you don't have to use it. You can use it. I know many people that use Metabang to do everything. I don't like doing my contour with Metabang. I'm just not used to it yet, but I'm working on that. I'm working on that, okay? So 
like I said before, just do whatever you're comfortable with, guys. And you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm not so different, fit in your system, so why do you tell me I'm wrong when I say the same things that you say, and you double the standards because you only like your so keep running your mouth, cause I'm tired of walking away, oh yeah, I want you to turn around and leave, every lie you fed me, I can see, oh you think I'm crying, you think I'm dying, Chills when you put it 
So, in this step, I just cleaned the contour using the Meta Bang airbrush tool, and that's pretty much it. In this part, I just make my contour a lot darker. I kind of like clean it up. If there's any like slight weird coloring issues, I fix it. So, in this part, I'm just cleaning up my contour. So, nothing they could do, no, they can take this So, for the highlight, I don't have a specific way I highlight. When I highlight, I just test out what best works for me. I just I just recommend you practice contouring and highlight. Eventually, you'll get the hang of it and you'll get your own style. I don't really have my own style right now. I just try my best when it comes to highlight. I'm not that best. Like, I'm not the best at it. So, like, it's fine if your highlight does not come out good. Just keep practicing. Hold the Bacardi, Tito's, and Jack. I don't need that. Ain't no drink will get me this. Drunk, drunk. Ain't no thing will get me this. Fresh, fresh. Better call an Uber cause I'm buzzing. Question, heartbeat, question. Got me thinking, might be something. You're exciting, your wit and your timing You're teasing me with those eyes I'm digging your Nikes Must be a Pisces Wearing your Levi's tight I'm sliding over I know you like me inching closer Feeling bolder Might not believe me, but I'm sober what? Hold the Bacardi, Tito's and Jack I don't need that Ain't no drink will get me this Drunk For the 
the eyes, I don't have a specific way of doing them, which I say about everything. I don't have a specific way of doing my highlight. I don't have, but besides that, I think each person has a different way of doing their eyes. Um, I would just recommend you to keep practicing and trying new methods on how to draw your eyes. Also, if you really need help, just try tracing the reference. That is what I've done in the past, and now I am more able to draw my eyes without a reference, but I occasionally still need, need practice and help, so don't worry. Um, I don't really have a different way of doing my eyes, except for that I do think that I add a certain things that are different um one i add shadow to the top of my eye and the bottom of my eye i just think it makes it look more realistic and i also add like a little pink part to the beginning of my eye and the end of my eye um because i noticed that actual eyes have this part of, in their you know eye you don't have it at the end i don't think so but you have it at the beginning i looked it up on google it's called the cart uncle i think that's how you pronounce it but those are some of the two things that I add different. I also add a little sparkle to my eye. Um, so yeah, you can do those things and see if those works work for you. I hope that I'm just able to help you guys understand more because I am not a really good teacher and I'm not good at explaining things to others. So I hope that the video can also help you guys learn and understand visually because I am a visual learner. So I hope that you guys can also learn this way and I hope that because I'm showing you guys you're able to you're able to catch on and understand ain't no drink will get me this ain't no thing will get me this better call an Uber cause I'm buzzing question heartbeat question got me in love ain't no drink will get me this To the last night Who the bullet will touch this time Getting colder than last time Did not expect for us to cross that line Getting through back to you But it's not enough Don't let me down Don't let me fall Just stay around Don't want us falling back to that Your step now I see you go I'm crying out But you're too far so you don't hear it Get time for thoughts to rise Now it's going into overdrive Still no message past my bedtime I am trying not to analyze On my phone Waiting on, you're not coming by Don't let me down, don't let me fall Just stay around Don't want us falling back to that you're stepping out I see you go, I'm crying out Well, you're too far so you don't hear Don't let 
the last night Who the bullet will touch this time Getting colder than last time Did not expect for us to cross that line Getting through back to you But it's not enough Don't let me down And for the eye bags and eyelids, I also hope this clip helps you guys learn because I don't really know how to explain it. But for the eyelids, I just draw my lid in the outline layer with the same color I use, use to draw the outline. And then I usually will create a separate layer for the eyelid and eye bag. Um, for the eyelid, I try my best to add a highlight to the beginning or center of the eye and I try my best to blend it in with the skin slash contour around the eye. And for the eye bag, I usually use shading 2 um, to create it because I like my eye bag to be more pronounced and I, and I also like it to be a little darker under the eyes. I don't know why but I think it looks good. Um, I also will use a little bit of airbrush to blend it into the eye. I use a fade brush. It's usually a brush that has, um, it, um, it's like, um, the brush is more light around the edges, so it, like, blends into the skin really nice. So, yeah. Um, I know that Metabang doesn't have this brush automatically. I, like, kind of took one of the original brushes and I kind of tweaked it. If you want to know how I created the fit, well, I didn't create it. I just tweaked the brush. If you want to know how to get this type of brush, um, DM me and I'll show you the steps. I didn't show you the steps in here. Maybe I'll do a video on my favorite brushes. I don't know. But, like, yeah, I usually use a brush that is able to add highlights like very nicely like something that's able to blend so make sure you use brushes that are able to blend and do whatever works for you i just hope that makes sense <laughs> Another end of the night, here I am by your side again I couldn't hide what I've been keeping inside So I tried to deny it again And tonight feels different Maybe something is different
Babe, I'll be frank, you make me lose my self-control How can I ever be without you anymore? Babe, I'll be frank, you make me lose my self-control So do you want me? So, to start off your eyebrows, I usually just draw the shape of the eyebrows. Like, I do a little outline of the eyebrows. Then I will usually color this in with the same color that I use to do the outline of the eyebrows. And then I will use the selection tool to select the whole area where I'm doing the eyebrows. And then I'll go over the eyebrows with a airbrush tool. And this is so it can add, I can add a a more of a gradient feel to the eyebrow so usually I'll use a lighter color to the beginning of the eyebrow and then I'll add a darker color to the end of the eyebrow then once I am done with this you can either stop here I think the eyebrow does look you know kind of good at this point if you like your eyebrows like this but I like to make my eyebrows a little more realistic you know and add a little more I guess something a little pizzazz, I guess you could say. So I like to little, I like, I don't know what I'm saying. I like to draw little streaks of hairs on my eyebrows. I just think it adds more of a realistic feel to them. You don't have to do this, but I recommend you to try out both of these methods, you know, and see which one you like best.
for the lips. I didn't really follow the reference. I used um, a picture of previous lips that I have from my original Avi and I think my current lips and I used the mesh transform tool to transform them and shape them to the lips that I wanted for this Avi. I'm still not really good at drawing lips so I'm sorry if like this isn't really helpful to you. I hope like I said before that the clip helps you learn visually because I'm better at showing people visually than I am explaining it. But I will be linking three lip references slash templates you can use in the description and you guys can download and trace or copy them for your own Avi. So you can use these templates and make them different and make them your own. I'm a little messed up too I kinda like All the shit that we've been through The more we sing The deeper I fall into you It's not healthy But when you hold me like you do It makes me wanna break the rules Who cares what we're supposed to be Your friends are saying you should
So in this final step, I am just cleaning up the face and adding final touches like highlight and eyelashes. I don't really do anything anything drastic in this clip. I'm just cleaning up my obby, adding a little highlight in the brow, adding a little highlight on the nose, you know, just little tweaks and fixes. So yeah, that's it. So why do you tell me I'm wrong when I say the same things that you say And you double the standards because you only like your So keep running your mouth cause I'm tired of walking away oh, yeah. I want you to turn around and leave Every lie you fed me I can see Oh, you think I'm crying, think I'm dying 
So guys, the tutorial is done, finally, okay? I'm not good at tutorials, so I really tried my hardest to like explain to you guys in a good way. I'm such an awkward person when it comes to this, so like, I'm sorry if you didn't get it. I just wanted to help you guys in the best way that I could. Um, so I think my next video will also be a tutorial. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm just so awkward, like... But yeah, besides that, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I have my Instagrams linked down below. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.